I'm going to go to your first goal. I'm I, I, going to I get couldn't there, believe it last week. As soon as, as, soon as it happened, I just gasped. You text gasped, me. Gasped. I, text, text I text him. Going. I couldn't believe I it. I know what we're talking about on the uh, show. Anyway, where are we going? What so, Mitt, well, Mitch Moses, apparently he's not going to play at Magic Round, but he will play the following week. Is one game enough? considering he was there for Game 3 when they won last year? Oh, I think considering he was there for Game 3, we know he can handle it. He played well. Um, but I, I think Luai, I, I didn't know Moses wasn't playing this week. Actually. I thought he was back this week. So I thought having two games under his belt, yeah, he probably wouldn't question it, but especially if he plays well. But one game under his belt, if he doesn't play good, yeah, that's probably a... Does it matter different. how he plays, though, Gal? Does it matter that one uh, game? Is it? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, yeah, I think it, especially Luai's going good. Luai's a good player. Luai and... Uh, and obviously, Nico in the halves would, would be good. I think you know, Nico plays on the right hand side of the field. Nico can play anywhere, all over the park. And he was, you know, he was a fullback in, in, uh, down in the Melbourne days in the utility type place. So he can play all over the park. He plays all over the park when it comes to Shars. He's, he's on both sides of the field. Uh, Louis obviously likes the left hand side of the field. So you go one of them two, or obviously, if Moses comes back, I, I think Moses has got to play good. Yeah, I do. And I think one game, I don't know if it's enough. They can't be in the same halves pairing is what I'm hearing a lot of talk about publicly. Gus, Hines and Moses. I don't have much other choice. I think they can work it out if that's what they've got to do. Um, we've still got, what, 23 days to go. Um, so I don't think we have to decide it today. Um, but and anything could happen in that time. <laughs> As for picking a player who hasn't been playing at club level, I can remember... A couple of players that I picked that have been out for eight weeks and had no club games coming in. If you think they're an origin player, if they're a proven origin class player, I don't think it matters. I think the origin class player will get through. Did you consider Moses to be that player? He's played one game. Yeah, but he might be the best available. Well, he probably would be the best available at that time. Uh, over over Luai and Nico? Look, well, Luai's a there. six. We need a six and a seven. Yeah, well, Moses and Luai, yeah. Does Luke Keery come into the conversation at all, or is, is that oh, past look, him? Oh, for me, he's a great player. He's been a great player for a long time, but I, I think I think it's a bit past him, to be honest. What, what about Dylan Edwards? Does Nathan getting injured hurt his chances? I think it does, yeah. I think it does. Look, I, I'm, I'm picking Tedesco anyway. I think Tedesco's the captain. He's a great player. He's playing good for the Roosters. I'm, I'm picking Tedesco regardless. I feel sorry for Dylan, Dylan Edwards. He's a great player, but unfortunately there's a couple of guns in front of him. That's just the way it is. You, look, Penrith probably wouldn't have anyone else in their side, and I can't blame him for that. But when it comes to Origin, I'm picking Tedesco. But I do think Cleary not being there probably hurts him also. Um, Gus, you've said many times on this show too that Jack White is an Origin class centre. 100%. No turbo now. Is he a definite? He's got to be in the mix. I'm telling you, I'll, look, the one thing I'm saying is you're going to be shocked when they pick this team. This is going to be right out of left field. In a lot of other positions... What makes it shocking, do you think? Not anti I'm just telling you, well, you're not going to predict this team. There's plenty of talk that Cameron McInnes is going to be in this side. Would you be surprised if, if that was the case? There was always plenty of... I'm not going to be surprised by anyone that gets... Picked. What about Appy Coruscant missing out? There's chatter that Appy might miss out and Reese Robson might get it. I don't, know where, I don't know what street corners you, you're on, Michael. I'm not on those street corners. Well, you're I telling, I don't, I don't you're telling to me we're chatter. going to be shocked. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked. Then shock us. You're going to be shocked. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if Cam McInnes started. Yeah. I wouldn't... Look... You've got to remember how tough Origin is for that first 20-minute period. Appy's not a big body. I think Appy will probably be there. But I wouldn't be surprised if Cam McKinnis started. He's just tough, as we know. And he, he could cop that first 20 minutes, cop the real tough stuff and throw Appy in the last 20 of, uh, of the first half. That wouldn't surprise me. Um, but I'm a little bit gutsy. I think there'll be a couple of surprise selections, but I don't think I'll be totally shocked. Gus, if Matt Burton was to be given the tap on the shoulder, would you prefer it at six or in the centres? Well, he's playing a six in his club football. Mm -hmm. now, we know he can handle the centres, but he's playing six in his club football. And, you know, a big part of Matt's game in the last couple of years, what he's tried to develop, is his kicking game. You don't get his kicking game if you're going to play in the centres. Um, but, you know, that's, that's up for the selectors in, in what they do there. I'm just telling you, you're going to have some shocks when this team is announced. You're going to have some shocks. Because there's no one left. Yes. You're going to have some shocks. And if you keep talking about it, we'll have no players left. <laughs> we'll go back to the New South Wales Cup looking for players. <laughs> The Queenslanders have had a fair share of injuries too. No big Tino, Tommy Boo Gillen's who? out. Kalen. Hammer. Yeah. Boo who. Kalen. The works. Yeah, they've, they've been out for a couple of weeks. They're not going down now. Yeah, I, think, had, I, think this will be, I think this will be a really intriguing series. Really intriguing You've been, you've been critical of selections in the past. From what you're hearing on the street corners you're hanging out in, are you happy with what, the way Madge is going? I haven't. I've got no idea. Oh, what now I've got, no. got no idea what Magic. <laughs> Mate, he's just creating headlines. He's just I haven't, I haven't spoken to Magic about. I'm just telling you, there's going to be. I'm just telling you, there's going to be a shock. 
I don't reveal my sources. <laughs> oh, scuttlebutt if I've ever I don't it. give people up. Uh, what you won't be shocked by, of course, you'll be able to catch State of Origin games 1, 2 and 3, exclusive live and free right here on 9th White Wall of Sports. Of course, game one in Sydney before we head to the MCG and finish perhaps with the decider at Suncorp Stadium. Game one, June 5. And make sure you join us from 7pm.